You know what's better than chocolate chip cookies? Well, nothing, but <laughs> what churro chocolate chip cookies? They have this amazing crunchy sugar top, but the middle is soft and gooey. If you love chocolate chip cookies and you're looking for a fun spin on, you know, the classic chocolate chip cookies, Santa called and he said, it's time to make these cookies. This recipe is a keeper. It's a cookie to make all year round. You're going to start by melting together the butter and sugars in the microwave. This should take about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. We just want that butter to fully melt. You're gonna look at your bowl and think, well, the sugars haven't really melted. It's okay, we just want that sugar to start to soften up to the point where it's easier to combine these ingredients. As you begin to mix this, you'll notice the melted butter and sugars will separate. This is where science comes in and we're gonna make an emulsion. The easiest way to make an emulsion is to mix really fast using either a hand whisk or an electric beater. I did not cut the video. I really wanted to show you the entire process, how this goes from split to a beautiful soft creamy texture within seconds. As long as you got some arm strength, it's a good workout. I've added the egg and you want to mix in the flour, salt, and baking soda. You will have to switch to a spatula. By the way, if you're new to my channel, hello there. Welcome. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell. I post new videos every week. You'll notice this dough will look quite loose after all we did use melted butter now you want to use an actual chocolate bar for this recipe break it up into small pieces then use that the problem with using chocolate chips is that they're designed to retain their shape so you won't really get that chocolatey gooey center but it's up to you if that's all you have of course you can use chocolate chips now the dough at this point is done super fast and easy we are going to cover this though and pop it into the freezer for about 15 minutes at that point the dough will be much easier to handle. You want to use a medium-sized ice cream scoop. If you don't have a medium-sized scoop, just aim for about 10 to 12 cookies. You're going to take each cookie, roll it into a ball as best you can. If the dough is sticky, you can gently wet your hands and the dough won't stick. You're going to roll each cookie into some cinnamon sugar. These are going to be the most amazing cross between a snickerdoodle and a chocolate chip cookie. I present to you the churro chocolate chip cookie. Absolutely amazing. So sorry, crumble cookies. These are in fact the best churro cookies cheap homemade delicious by the way if you don't like cinnamon sugar leave it out these will still be delicious chocolate chip cookies add some more chocolate if you want and these need to go back into the freezer i know you want the cookies now but these need to go into the oven frozen now unlike cake the cool thing about cookies is you can bake off one test cookie this is a great trick for novice bakers or to just test out different oven temperatures and really develop your own perfect cookie some people like half-baked cookies, some people like a crisp outside and a soft middle. No one really talks about this, but I have to tell you the success of a recipe is not solely based on the ingredient amounts, okay, but also on the cooking process. You could have a great recipe and completely destroy it with your oven. So it's highly important to get to know your oven and cookies are a great way to do that. That being said, I personally think the best temperature for these cookies is 190 degrees Celsius or 370 Fahrenheit with the fan on. These need to go in a well preheated oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. The high temperature along with the fan will quickly set the outside, giving you this crunchy, delicious sugar top, but the inside will remain soft and gooey. Now you have to serve these warm. These are churro cookies after all. Nobody likes cold churro cookies. That does not sound good. So when serving the next day, just reheat in the microwave for about 15 seconds. I'm telling you, these are amazing. Not only are these a fun spin on chocolate chip cookies, but they're absolutely Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna stop talking and just leave you to the video because these speak for themselves.